All right, let's have situation four. A right circular cylinder having a diameter of 1.5 meters and weighing 900 newton is held up in position by an anchor bolt such that 0 0.3 meters of the cylinder is below the surface of water with its axis vertical. The anchor block has a volume of 0 0.5 cubic meters and weighs 24 kilonewton per cubic meters in air. Assume seawater to have a specific gravity of 1.03. 1.03. Neglecting the weight and volume of the cable, evaluate the buoyant force on the cylinder for the position described. Evaluate the tensile force in the wire for the given draft of the cylinder. And evaluate the rise in meters in the tide that will lift the anchor from the bottom of the sea. So, una, kailangan mo ma-interpret yung figure. Say, suppose ito yung bottom ng sea. A right circular cylinder is floating. The diameter given is 1.5 meters. Okay? Then, according to this, it is held in position by an anchor block such that 0.3 meters of the cylinder is below the surface of water with its axis vertical. Kaya nakatayo siya. 0 0.3 meters below the surface of water. So, pinipigilan niyan mag uh, float up totally because of this anchor block. So, meron daw rope connected to the anchor block. Masyadong mabigat yung anchor block. Hindi kaya ng buoyant force na i-uplift siya alone. Okay? Now, unang-unang gagawin nyo dito is determine all of the forces in the system. We have here the weight weight of the cylinder 900 newtons or 0.9 kilo newtons since lumulutang yan i mean nas tubig yung ating cylinder there is a buoyant force acting on that cylinder tawagin ko siyang fb1 buoyant force in the cylinder another force here involved in the system is the weight of the block actually weight ng concrete kasi this one is for concrete tawagin siyang wc Dito sa ating anchor block, meron din niyang buoyant force. Kasi andun yan sa tubig. Meron niyang buoyant force. Observe that yung term niya dito is weight in air. Kasi pag sinabing weight in water, net weight yan. Isubtract mo si buoyant force. Yan yung ibig niya sabihin dyan. Pag sinabing net uh, weight in water, sinubtract mo na si buoyant force dyan. Anyway, hindi pa to kumpleto. Since yung block natin, is nakatouch sa ground, there is a reaction. Meron pa siyang reaction dyan. So, this is our complete free body diagram in that system. Huwag mo munang lagyan ng tension sa rope because hindi pa man, hindi natin yan tinutol. Unless, putuloy na natin sa may expose na yung internal force and that is the tension. That's the rule in mechanics parate. Huwag mo munang lagyan ng forces hanggat hindi mo pa pinuputol yung ating system. May pinutol ka na, then there is an internal force. Ang gagawin ko, kumpletuhin natin yung uh, forces uh, in the data. Magkukompleto natin yan. The formula for the buoyant force is gamma of liquid times the volume of the space. O gamma ng liquid kung saan mo i-immense, uh, immerse yung ating uh, object, saan siya nakasubmerge. So for our FB1, take note ha, Seawater to. The gamma of seawater is gamma water plus 9.81 times specific gravity. That is the gamma of the seawater. Yung volume displaced, itong nasa tubig for that cylinder. So it is pi over 4 diameter squared. Diameter is 1.5. Yung height displaced dito sa tubig is 0 0.3 or yung nasa merge. So, that is our FB1. For FB2, buoyant force on the anchor block. So, gamma is, again, 9.81 times 1.03. Gamma ng liquid, kung saan siya nag-submerge. Yung volume nito is given as a directly. 0 0.5 cubic meters volume of the anchor block. So, multiply lang natin siya ng 0 0.5. So, meron tayong FB2 in kilo newtons. Okay, solve na tayo sa FB1, FB2. Weight ng block naman tayo. 
weight ng concrete block. So, the weight formula is gamma of the object times the volume of the object itself. So, gamma of the block or the concrete is 24 kilonewton per cubic meters. Then, volume ng concrete block is 0 0.5. So, you have here 12 kilonewtons. Okay, by observation, ito na kompleto na natin. We can solve for R. No? Pwede rin hindi kasi pwede naman nating iwasan yung R sa pagkuha ng tension later. But kompletuhin na lang natin. Kung gusto natin kuhanin yung reaction dito sa seabed, summation forces vertical. So we have R upward. FB1 upward. FB2 upward. Inuna ko yung mga upward forces. Then minus downward forces. Minus 0.9 kilonewtons minus weight concrete equals 0. Take note, FB1 is 5.375, FB2 is 5.052, and weight of concrete is 12 kilonewtons. Kuha natin yung resulting uh, reaction at the seabed, 2.491 kilonewtons. Kinompleta ko muna yung mga forces before natin sagutan isa-isa para mas maintindihan yung scenario dito. Ilagay ko yung mga forces dito sa figure. Yan. Part 1. Buoyant force on the cylinder uh, for the given position or the position described. So, yan na yung 5.357. Yan yung FB1 natin kanina. Number 2. Tensile force in the wire for the given draft of this cylinder. For that given draft, ano yung tension? Ang ngayon, putuloy na natin siya para ma-expose yung force. Pinutol ko siya. Equal tension away from the member. Kung dito ka mag-consider, yung force tension away sa member. Kung dito ka naman mag-consider, yung force tension is away from the member. Ganun yan, yung rule ng tension. Pwede, kang, pwede mong gamitin ito, yung forces diagram na yan, or pwede rin dito. Gagawin ko yung dalawa para ma-prove na the same yan. Una, I will consider the top diagram forces. Summation forces vertical equal zero. We have 5.357 up, upward minus 0 0.9 downward kilonewtons. Uh, yung T dito is downward minus T equals zero. So 4.457 or 4.46. Kung dito ka naman tumingin, summation of forces vertical equals zero. We have T upward minus 12 downward. Okay, plus 5.052. Upward yan. I take note, may reaction pa yan. 2.491 kilonewtons equals 0. Nakuha natin yung tension. The same value yan, of course. Usually, usually kasi nagkakamali yung mga student dito. Hindi ito ini-include yung reaction. May reaction talaga yan dyan because anchor block yan. Pagtatouch yan sa... No. Kaya nagkakamali sila magpukuha ng tension. Ito yung kinukonsider niya. Safe yung ga gawin mo, dito ka mag-consider to solve for the tension. Pero safe pa rin, basta alam mo lang talaga yung concept. You need to consider the reaction. Same answer yan. Okay, number 20. Evaluate the rise in meters in the tide that will lift the anchor anchor from the bottom of the sea. Ito daw, malilift siya. Ano ang mangyari kung malilift yan? So, yung rise of tide, kung malift ito, then, wala nang reaction dito. That's the case. Kasi maaalsa na siya. There's no contact at that point. Ang magbabago dito is that kung merong rise in tide, magbabago yung buoyant force sa cylinder. Kasi lalaki yung volume displaced. Yung volume na nakasubmerge sa tubig. Yung buoyant force naman dito sa baba for the anchor block, the same lang. Yung na change. Okay? Hindi magbabago kasi yung buong block pa rin yung nakasubmerge dyan. Aside from that, magbabago yung height. Meron siyang, ayan yung hinahanap natin, the rise in type. Again, yung magbabago dito is just the, this one. Pati yung tension pala, magbabago din. But, hindi naman natin required yung tension. So, ano yung required rise in type? Uh, delta, tawag siyang delta. So that, malif yung ating anchor block. Again, kung malif na yan, Wala nang reaction dito. Ganon ang mayari. That's the principle. 
Ha? Isipin nyo lang, pag ma na, wala na. Wala nang contact. So, ito na yung complete diagram of forces natin. Aside from that, magbabago yung buoyant force in the cylinder. Magbabago kasi yung volume natin lumaki. So, bale, kukunin mo muna si buoyant force by that condition. Summation of forces vertical equals zero. So, you have FP1 required minus 0 0.9 minus 12 plus 5.052 equals 0. Walang tension na Hindi natin pinutol. Walang tension mangyari dyan kung hindi natin pinutol. So, ito yung required buoyant force. Ito yung kailangan na buoyant force para ma-lift natin yan. While the buoyant force at V1 in the cylinder that is equals to gamma liquid times volume displaced. Yung volume displaced, yan yung in terms of delta. Substitute natin si FB1 dito. Gamma of liquid again, 9.81 times the specific gravity. The volume displaced is the cross-sectional area, pi over 4 times the diameter squared, times the height or depth submerged. The depth submerged is 0.3 plus delta. Kuha natin yung rise in tide Required 0 0.139 mm, 0 0.14. Okay? May ibang solution na dinadaan sa tension, pwede lang din. The same lang yan. Una, kinukuha muna yung tension dito, considering this part. After makuha yung tension, uh, yan, uh, ito naman yung gamitin nyo. But the same lang yan. The same lang yung magiging sagot. By the way, sa board exam, error yung pangatlong tanong dyan. May exact copy tayo dyan sa... Ano? sa November 2018 board exam. Later on, i-re-record uh, ko rin yung exact test, uh, exact answer, I mean, exact uh, board exam, November 2018. Yan yung next, ano ko dito, next project, November 2018. Uh, hanggang matapos ko yung mga latest board exam. 